Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Heather Astani and I'm on a journey to lose 100 pounds by the end of the year. <laughs> downstairs and I realized I actually left you guys hanging and a lot has changed since my last episode where I talked a lot about how I had hit a plateau and how I hadn't lost any weight and I wasn't sure what was going on and I was going to try a few things and I haven't really given you guys an update so I wanted to do that today and also this is like the first quarter is over and I kind of wanted to let you guys know what I'd learned from that and what my experiences have been on a deeper level more like what has three months on this journey felt like <laughs> so i'm here in my office it's just like my fun place to be i also have this really cool emotional support avocado so the first amazing piece of news is that i have lost since the beginning of this year 20 pounds officially like so freaking happy. Yeah, I stepped on the scale the other day and the plateau has broke. So apparently threatening my body with no carbs or at least low carbs for three days was enough to get it to conform and start losing again. We are done with pasta. We are done with spaghetti. We are done with linguine, fettuccine. Fettuccine doesn't count. It absolutely counts. We're gonna eat vegetables. We're gonna eat proteins, lean proteins. I'm gonna make us chicken and asparagus and spinach. We're gonna have a great winter. We're gonna lose weight. No more pasta. Let's just have a bowl of spaghetti, come on. No. What happened to you? What happened? No more pasta for you or me. Mm. Okay? It's over. We're done. And um, a good friend of mine online suggested that I should go and try carb cycling, which is where you take the carbs out for a few days and then slowly add them in. And it worked like a charm. It was amazing. I lost two pounds that week and that put me right at a 20 pound weight loss. And I'm, I'm just happy. Like to stay on target for my 100 pound weight loss for the year, I would have liked to have seen 25 pounds, but I'm not too worried because that five pounds, again, you know, if you've been following me, that could be water weight, that can be a lot of different things. Also, there's been weeks where I've lost three pounds. And so it all, I'm not gonna sweat five pounds. Okay, so I wanted to talk a little bit about what this first quarter has been like. So this is pretty much what I experienced for my first quarter. I would say the first thing I've learned is that just because you wanna get healthy and you wanna change in your life doesn't mean everything else around you changes. Um, that was probably the big thing is that like, I was like, this is, I'm gonna get in shape. This is gonna be great. It's gonna be awesome. And then stress happens, you know, like it's life. Some days I don't do very well in terms of like handling you know, all the things that I handle, you know, and I get those pressure crunches. It can get really, really hectic. <laughs> so I learned that in the past, I would take this and I'd just go, screw it. I'm gonna go and have a box of mac and cheese for lunch and I'm gonna have a mangarita. I was literally eating my stress. And so now I'm not eating my stress but I'm here in this place where I still have the same stress. And so it's been like, I'll make myself a tea and I'm gonna go journal. <laughs> and I just have been taking time to really seek out those happier moments. So while the stress hasn't changed, um, how I've handled the stress lately has. So at the beginning of the year, I actually had a couple of things going on that I didn't realize were health related. The first one was that I wasn't sleeping well. And like, you always hear that heavier people don't sleep well. And as a heavier person, I can tell you why. I would be, I would get these dreams where I couldn't breathe. And it was weird because I dream like every night and I'd have these dreams where I'm either underwater. Hello, how are you? I am under the water. Please help me. You're too much raining. <laughs> or something would be around my neck or something like that and I would wake up because I can't breathe. And what I'm starting to think now is that might have been the beginning stages of like a sleep apnea thing. I actually wear this Fitbit and it would tell me like my oxygen levels for the night and it was really poor. And so losing, like I pretty quickly lost an inch around my neck of fat 
and that has helped me breathe immensely well at night. And my um, Fitbit is saying that I'm actually having better oxygen levels at night. And so that was one thing that cleared up with my weight loss. But the thing oh, that was probably the most miraculous was that for the last three years, I've had pretty severe plantar fasciitis in mostly my right foot, but a little bit in both of my feet. And what plantar fasciitis is, it's like you get a bruise on the bottom of your, of your foot, but it never quite heals. And so it's like there's a tendon that goes from the ball of your foot to the heel, and that gets inflamed. If I walked for too long, it would be literally excruciating. I would have to like limp. It was horrible. It was really, really bad. And I think the real scary thing about this was that I was starting to structure my, my walking around it. I'm getting to that place where I'm starting to walk less now because this is hurting. As I started to lose weight through my diet, because it wasn't so much my exercise at first, it was mostly my diet, the pain actually started going away. And I can tell you right now, I am 100% pain-free in my feet. And it was because, to be really frank, I was just carrying too much. And a 20 pound weight loss cleared that up. That's been massive. The other thing I've learned is that being thinner is not going to change how I see myself. What wouldst thou know, mighty queen? Mirror, mirror on the wall, who is fairest of them all? Ah, oh, here we go again. I think this was the mistake I made when I was 180. I think this time I know that. I'm like, you know, when you get to 150, the things that bother you are still gonna bother you. And if it's your self-esteem or your self-confidence, like, unless you're using your workout somehow to build confidence or you're doing something in order to focus on that every day, it's still gonna be there. Like, your life lessons are there you don't get to skip them this is one of those things where I'm now more aware and I'm starting to realize wow there's all these things that I've been using food to cope with and once I'm skinny those don't go away I still have to learn how to deal with them in a healthy way so now that we've talked about how weight loss doesn't equate you know equal happiness uh, I kind of wanted to talk more about what I'm doing to figure that part of my life out. When I'm doing fun and happy things, those are times where I'm not using food to make me feel better. I'm using things outside of that that are enjoyable. And I would hope that it would, you know, spark your interest in that you might sit there and go, wow, you know what? I've never actually done that or that looks fun. I think I'll try it. A lot of my inspiration I got from YouTube where I'd sit there and I'd go, you know, <laughs> I'd be sitting there literally eating and going, why don't I do that? <laughs> <laughs> you know, but it's an experiment and it's about finding that thing that makes you happy. And it's hard to find what makes you happy if you don't see other people doing what they find happy. So I hope this has really inspired you and shown you how much you can do for yourself and your body in three months. Like if I knew that I was going to lose 20 pounds in three months last year, I would have been so happy. So if you're in that position where you're like, well, you know, it's probably gonna take forever. I hope this has inspired you. I hope it was honest and uh, I hope you liked it. So if you have, be sure to hit the like button. It really helps my channel. Of course, subscribe if you hit the subscription button. That'll let you know when I have a new video out. I usually release a video once a week and thank you so much for watching, okay? Have a beautiful day, <laughs> bye-bye.